each time I post a video of this PC, it's a Lenovo Think Center M920 Q. It doesn't matter if it's this PC or any other mini PC. There is one question that I keep getting over and over and again. And the question is, hardware money, can I game on this PC? All right. Typically, I don't tend to reply because it's kind of obvious that this is an office PC and I feel like everybody should already know that this is an office PC, but everybody wants to game on a mini PC. And then I felt like this is becoming a thing, becoming like a little trend where people are just tired of gaming on their big tower PCs. And if you observe the trend, the trend is such that the smaller the technology is, the better it is for the people, you know. The people just want something that would not take up any space in their apartment, on their table. I really do not know why this is so, but everybody just wants to have a mini PC. Truth be said, this mini PC right now is trending. Everybody wants to have something like this, very small, very compact. But people are even pushing the game even further. They want to game on this PC. Not just gaming, play the normal little game that you have. They want to play with an Nvidia graphic card. They want to install a full profile graphic card or even a low profile graphic card on this thing and actually be able to play AAA game titles. This is the trend, I observed it and recently I felt like this is something I need to take a look at. So I went on to YouTube because YouTube, like you know, is where everything goes down. If it's not on YouTube, just know that it's not trending. When I went on to YouTube, I was shocked what was going on. Mini PCs being turned to gaming PCs and not even low-end gaming PCs, I'm talking about high-end gaming PCs. And I was like, wait a minute, how is this going to be possible given that this is just a mini PC? How on earth can this mini PC take an NVIDIA ROTX 3050 graphic card? How is it going to be possible that this mini PC is going to do that? Like I said, if you watch my previous video, I said to you, if you are looking at the top 10 PC for this month, when November now is just the first week of November, and right now there are so many lists going out there, this is the top PC for the month, this is the top 10 PC for the month. If this PC is not there, like I said, it's the Lenovo Think Center M920Q, that list needs to be checked again because right now the trend is that a lot of people want to game on this PC, not just any other mini PC, this particular PC. And because of that, everybody wants to get this little PC. You might be wondering, hardware money, how do you know that everybody wants to get it? PC. If you see the views, the number of views on the YouTube videos talking about turning this mini box into a, into a gaming PC, you will be shocked. The last video I saw was on the ETA Prime channel and this video presently sits at 272,000 views. People just want to see how is it possible for this thing to be turned into a gaming PC and perhaps go ahead and build their own little gaming PC. But then ETA Prime also said that look, I didn't get this idea myself. I also got it from another YouTuber by the name ITG Gear. So when I heard that, I did go onto the ITG Gear channel to see what the young man had done to this PC. In fact, this guy, I would not say, is a genius because he broke down the step-by-step -step process how you can actually turn this machine here into a gaming PC. Basically, I wouldn't game on this PC because, like I said, it's an office PC. On this PC, it's an 8th gen Intel Core i5 processor. 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of NVMe SSD. This young man broke this PC down, broke down the steps, how you can actually take an NVIDIA ROTX 350 low profile graphic card and install it on this PC and actually go ahead to play AAA game titles. I'm not gonna go ahead to show the process because this video has been made not once, not twice, even three times, but the thing I just wanna highlight is that this PC in itself, it might look very small, but it can do a lot of things because on this PC is a PCI Express slot. And what the ITG gear guy did was that he went on to AliExpress and bought a PCI riser for this PC. In this way, he made the PCI slot a full profile PCI slot X16. And on this, he was able to install his ROTS 3050 low profile graphic card. In fact, it was genius because what he did do is that he actually went ahead to open up this PC like this. I'm just going to show you because sometimes seeing is just believing, all right? He went ahead, opened the PC just like this, and normally the PC would come like this. So what he did do, he went ahead, he took out these screws right here and brought out this extension here. And this is the PCI slot. And on this, he was able to install the PCI riser on this PC. You see, what he did do was that he installed his graphic card. And given that it's a low profile graphic card, he was able to fit it perfectly into this place with the help of the PCI riser, all right? But then the problem now became that this cover wasn't going to close because the graphic card was a little bit higher than the PC itself. As if that is not enough that this PC has already been installed with a graphic card, this young man went ahead to build, like 
3D print a casing for this particular PC. In this case, he was able to neatly fit, you know, fit the graphic card onto the PC with the 3D printed casing. He was able to cover it and everything just looked so interesting. And then he went ahead to show us that, look, the 65 watts charger that came with this PC may not be able to power this up properly. In this case, you might be needing a 230 watt Lenovo ThinkPad charger with the exact same port like this, which you can easily get online. And so he bought it, fixed everything neatly, and he was actually able to play games on this PC. But then, the thing I forgot was that before he did that, he actually did go ahead to upgrade the RAM on this PC because like I said, I only have 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM here. He did go ahead to make it up to 16 gigabytes, I think, if I remember correctly, or the 2 gigabytes as the case may be. In this way, he was able to ensure that look, whatever he was doing, whatever games he was playing, ran perfectly well and because the game had the, the pc had a very good graphic card and nvidia rotx 3050 low profile graphic card he was able to play games and get very decent frame rates on whatever games he was playing this is interesting if you will say i would say this is genius because will i do this personally no because i pretty much love this pc exactly the way it is it's well built very slick design fits on your desk easily and if you deploy this pc as an office pc you will definitely not regret it the beautiful thing about this particular one i have right here is that it's got a wireless LAN adapter already built into this pc all you have to do is to get the antenna and then you already have a pc that is complete with all the ports that you need hdmi port display port and so on and so forth all right so now this is where i come in all right this pc right now like i said a lot of people are looking at this video and a lot of people want to try it out where do i find this pc that now becomes the big question, all right? Because if you go online, the particular video has gotten 272,000 people looking at it. And on the ITG Gear channel, it's gotten about 168,000 people looking at the video. Definitely people want to buy this PC and try it out. Right now, it might be a little bit difficult for you to find it. This PC, you cannot buy it new, but you can actually get it in the used market. And one very reliable place you can actually go ahead and get this PC is on Hardware Money. De. If you go there, you'll be able to get this PC in very decent condition, pretty much exactly what you can see here. If you take a look, even the label, the, the plastic uh, sticker from Lenovo is still there. It has not been peeled off. This is just to show you the condition that this PC is. I'm just trying to peel that off because I would see this is the label. This is the plastic label right there. Just peeling it off. This goes a long way to show you in what condition this PC is. If you take a look at the front or the back, everything looks so flawless, all right? So if you go to hardwaremoney.de, you'll be able to get this PC there. How long it's gonna be there, I cannot guarantee because if a lot of people right now are trying to turn their mini PC into a gaming PC, just be sure that look, people are gonna jump on these PCs and there's just only so much of this PC you can get right now. If truth be said, there are not so many mini PCs that have a PCIe slot and this is one particular model that actually gives you the possibility to do something like this like i said this young man the itg gear channel has actually gone the extra mile even 3d printing the casing for this pc this is to show you the extent to which people could be genius the beautiful thing is that he has said that look this whole exercise is just for educational purposes just to show you what this pc is capable of doing and i feel like it's also interesting to point it out that look even though this pc it looks very small you might be looking at it and saying what kind of mini pc is this but believe me this pc if everything works perfectly can actually be turned into a very decent gaming pc and i'm so happy that i'm able to make this video at least to finally put to rest the questions i keep getting if one can actually game on this pc if you want to see the breakdown of how this was done like i said i'm going to be leaving a link to the itg gear channel take a look at it and see for yourself if you want to go this route knock yourself out but the thing is if you are looking for this pc i can tell you for free that you can easily go on to hardwaremoney.de and you can get it there for a very decent price i hope this video helps you if it does go ahead and click on the like button subscribe to the channel if you are not until i see you again peace